black man? No. All right. My name is Charles, and I'm, first of all, I want to say, can you guys hear me good? My, my choosy sounds good? Choosy? Oh, good. Uh, I want to thank Kobe for inviting me to Thank you for coming. Country, which I haven't done in a long time. Same as Mr. Adam Quisnell. Am I well? Am I bad? Okay. Um, I want to thank Kobe for inviting me. I'm You're welcome. I am an independent filmmaker, and we make films. You always have a plan. Right? It's very... I'm talking over here, man. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like, say hi to my friend. I haven't seen him Hey, home. friend, sit your ass down. I'm Obviously talking. Not. Yes, no. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm bringing your balls. Okay. <laughs> I get up here, y'all. Sorry. Bad. Okay. Anyway. Um, I have no plan tonight. I'm going by the seat of my pants with poetry. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Cool. All right. I have no plan. I wrote... A, I was... Um, I went to Walmart. And I... Happened to buy some Deja Moo milk, right? <laughs> mm, there's a poem in here. So, <laughs> this poem is titled 2%. 2%. 2 I was sitting in my pad tilling when the police come knocking at my door, talking about there's been a murder and I'm a suspect. I said, Yo, pig, I ain't killed nobody. I've been sitting here all day long eating my chocolate Cheerios and drinking my Deja Moo milk. It's whole milk. Because I don't dig 2%. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, my friend Adam Quisner. Adam back there smokes. And who all smokes? Who all smokes here? I quit. You quit? I quit like in January. Man. Oh! <laughs> well, I say you smoke, brother. All right. For those who smoke, I wrote this poem for smokers. It's called um, Smoking. Goes like this. I told you I'll sit in my pants. I got nothing. All right, smoking. It's smoking is a sin, and to be saved by Jesus, then I should live in hell, because in hell everybody is smoking. And believe me. A light is easy to come by. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Now, sit in, my, sit in my pen. I got nothing. I got nothing. All right. I'm going to give you guys a choice. I have two poems in my mind right now. Do them both. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There. No. It's, it's one or the other. Because I'm out of here. Um, one poem is, is titled... <laughs> Last words of a Klansman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, deep, man. Another poem is titled The Undertaker. Oh, man. So you guys decide which, which poem you want to hear. Last words. Last words. Last words. Oh, Klansman? I like that. Yeah. All right, okay. Whew, I'm thinking about it. I'm, okay. Last words of a Klansman. Now, it's heavy, though. It's heavy. Can you guys hear me good? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, it's heavy. All right. Last words of a Klansman. It's deep, though. Seriously. All right. Y'all Yankees got me locked inside this jail cell for killing a bunch of niggas and Jews. But let me tell you, my daddy taught me at a young age that all niggas are animals and the Jews are the wicked masters. The Jews use niggas as tools to destroy white Christianity. My daddy told the truth. When I got about 10 years old, my daddy took me hunting. He, he got me a rifle, and we went out shooting these rifles. When I got bigger, he took me out to shoot big targets that was hooked up to look like big lip niggas and hook-nosed Jews. By the time I got a little older, my daddy said, I'm going to take you hunting, nigga hunting, why well, I couldn't wait. See, daddy and the boys routed up this nigga and took him out in those good old southern woods and let him loose. Get that nigga, my daddy yelled. <laughs> that nigga didn't get in there 20 feet before I put a bullet in his head with that rifle of mine. Let me tell you something. The first time you kill a nigga or a Jew, it's hard on you. He, he, he lay in there with his eyes wide open and you start to feel sorry for it. But you get over it. 
By the time I got a tender age of 17, I was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And in honor of my membership, I killed niggas, I burned Jews, I torched synagogues, I was born and bred to kill niggas and Jews. So before y'all put that killer stuff in my honorees, remember this. The niggas and the Jews were all perish. Segregation now, segregation tomorrow. So y'all go on and do y'all thing, y'all nigga loving, Jew hugging, sympathizing, Yankees! Last words of a Klansman. Right. Y'all pick.